your newborn is finally home. And after a few days, you notice crusty, scaly patches on your baby's scalp. Hi, I'm Dr. Dwayne Persley, and we're talking about cradle cap. In this video, I'll help you understand this condition and how to treat it. First, if the rash is on your baby's scalp alone, it's called cradle cap but it can start on the scalp and later extend to the face, the diaper area, and even the creases of the neck, the armpits, and behind the ears. In cases like this, we call it seborrheic dermatitis. But don't worry, it's not contagious, and it's usually not itchy or uncomfortable. Now, onto what causes it. Honestly, it's a bit of a mystery. One theory is, Hormonal changes in the mother during pregnancy, stimulating the infant's oil glands, which could lead to this condition. Let's move on to treatment. Don't stop shampooing. In fact, you might want to increase head washing using a mild baby shampoo. Some parents find petroleum jelly or ointments to be beneficial, but do not use baby oil. It can cause scales to build up on the scalp. If the condition persists, your pediatrician might prescribe a cortisone cream or lotion. Keep up the regular hair washing, even after improvement, to prevent recurrence. Just a quick word on yeast infections. Sometimes they occur in crease areas, like the inside of the elbows or behind the knees. If you see an area that looks extremely red and itchy, call your pediatrician. Anti-yeast creams are available with a prescription. Bottom line, take a deep breath. Cradle cap or seborrheic dermatitis is not a serious condition. It's not an infection, an allergy, or the result of poor hygiene. It will go away without leaving any scars. Remember, when in doubt, talk with your pediatrician. And please subscribe to the AAP YouTube channel for more great tips.